Hello all. So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P0389 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Honda P0389 code? Well, it's a crankshaft position sensor B intermittent interruption. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses the crankshaft position sensor to know the location of the crankshaft as it spins. It uses this for timing. And it's seen an error inside this circuit, so I have to be troubleshooted as to why. And there's going to be two main causes. It's going to either be the sensor or in the wiring. And this is going to be the second sensor. Most Hondas have one crankshaft position sensor, but this is going to have two. And you have to Google your particular engine to know exactly where the sensors are located. But they'll usually be down on the bottom around the crankshaft somewhere. And what most people will do is they'll go out and buy a new crankshaft position sensor and just replace it since it's a low-cost part. And then if that doesn't work, then they go and they try to look at the wiring. But the wiring is not difficult, especially if you have a known good sensor. There's a quick, easy way to test this and see if the wiring is working. And on older Hondas, they had two wires going to the sensor. And on new ones, they could have four. It just could vary. You'll need a schematic for your Honda to be sure. But by far, the most common is to have three wires. And they're kind of similar the way they work. And basically, what's going on is, is the middle one will be ground. Uh, one of the wires, one of the outer ones, will be like a reference voltage. So it's usually 12 volts, but it could be 8 volts, 5 volts, whatever it is. It just needs to be constantly on. When the key is turned on, this needs constant power going to this plug. So on one of these, you'll have from ground to outer pin, you'll have constant reference voltage. And the last wire is going back to the onboard computer. And when the crankshaft position sensor has metal directly in front of it, it'll complete the circuit and it'll send a pulse back to the onboard computer. And so what many mechanics will do is they'll get a known good sensor, they'll take this plug off, they'll plug it in, they'll come up from the back and they'll go from, from the middle wire ground to the return wire to the computer and they'll put a piece of metal in front of the sensor and see if the voltage changes. If it goes from like 0 volts to 5 volts, then they know it's working. And if you're not getting no voltage to this pin at all because one of these outer pins needs a constant voltage, then you very likely have a blown fuse. This is common, is uh, there's a fuse on this circuit and also for the camshaft position sensor is usually on that circuit. And the fuse is usually inside of the engine compartment, inside of a fuse box. And it could be up and underneath the dash, but it's usually inside of the engine compartment. And so look for a fuse that's blowing up. This wire could also have an open in it, it's very possible. But commonly there's a blowing fuse when you're not getting no power to this and it needs power to work correctly. And so that's the basics of what's going on with the wiring. It's actually pretty simple to check for and make sure that it's working properly if there is an issue. And so if you check the wiring and there's no problems and there's no blown fuse, then very likely it is a bad crankshaft position sensor that had to be replaced. And they're not high cost parts or nothing. They usually range like 20, 30 bucks. This one's like almost 70, I guess. But they're not like super high cost parts. And the biggest problem with changing out a crankshaft position sensor is going to be the other parts that are in the way. Because other, because by itself, it's pretty simple to swap out of just have like one or two bolts and a harness going to it, and you just pop it out and pop in a new one. But quite commonly, it's gonna be behind something, like behind this timing belt cover. Like in this image, it was behind the timing belt cover. You have to take that whole thing off. And so that'll be the, the main thing. You'll have to Google the location of this and see how it is on your particular engine, since they, it can vary a little bit. And with the sensor B, that usually indicates there's two sensors. And so you'll have like one here and one over here on this side of the crank, something along these lines. And with this error code, it'll be best just to replace both because you mainly because you just don't want to take apart all those components if the other one goes bad down the road. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Honda with the P0389 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.